Jewelers may start visiting and they have stuff to trade. What do you guys have? Not a whole lot. At all. Assuming that is everything. Ugh. Alright. Maybe. Might buy the components off here or something. We are running a little low. I think I have like 11 left. 8 left. Yeah. They go away fast. I'm trying to figure out what to do here with this western defense area. Because um, I'm fairly happy with this area down here. I might... I might wall this. And then get a northern defense going. You know, like wall that. Put another turret here like I have there. And then uh, worry about this area later on. Western defense. I don't I don't know how to do either of these. They're very large zones. They're very large. So I'm happy with this, even though they can't pick off uh was I think this turret they can pick off if they just hang out up here, and that's fine. As long as we're still able to shoot them and all that, it just acts as a distraction, really. So I'm alright with it. Otherwise I end up walling this off and then oh then they're just gonna hang out here and shoot up there and then I wall that off, and next thing you know, they're just entirely boxed in. It's just ugh. Such a pain in the ass trying to get them in perfect locations. I, I can't be bothered, really. So, as far as this goes, I'd really rather not separate into a zone there and a zone there. I'd really just like to cut it off here. I mean, I could, I could do a wall, turret, and then a couple turrets down here with walls. And then the sandbag's like way back here. Maybe. Like, maybe, maybe. Like, God, I don't know. Maybe. And there, sandbags. And then, uh, turrets. Ugh, nah, not like that, really. Turret. Ugh, something like that. I don't know what I mean. And then this would be walled off with a turret. Something like that. So they'll still try to chisel their way through, but there'll be a turret there to greet them, and we can still shoot them. Down here, we have a turret still able to shoot up at them. We got this guy who probably wouldn't reach, but that's okay. If they come up this way, we got two turrets there to fuck them up. I guess that'll work. Ugh. <laughs> it's a lot harder when I'm just doing a kill zone. I don't think people realize. And then up here, we'll, we'll probably just end up blowing this off. There's no reason not to. Applying it as a double, even though it'll probably just be single for the longest time. Like that. With the... That, I guess. Defensive turret in case they breach through. Some will argue this is walling myself in, but this isn't anything compared to how people normally do it. I might leave that main one. I might leave both of these open, actually. We just wall off that little area with the turret there. Go for, uh... A turret back here. A turret in there. The sandbags here. putting those down. Sandbags. I could even put a turret. Oops. There. That should be okay. For them to snipe, they have to be way out here and we could probably shoot at them already. 
I guess. I don't know. I'm not really blowing myself in. Just a few places are locked down to try to funnel them a little bit. We'll see how that goes, though. Meanwhile, the bedrooms going fairly well here. Still loads of room there. Everything's getting done. Like I said, it's just a little slow. All right, you guys. Uh... Sorry, I'll wake up Modern Glip here and, uh, talk to you. 15 per. Ugh, I do need components, though. 98% survival rifle. Oh, that's mine. Brings down to 15, so I still have five meals for the morning. Cool. Medicine I don't really need, and I'll keep that survival rifle. Because who? Oh yeah, there it is. Who could use a gun and doesn't have one? Nobody! You're trigger happy, so I don't know if I should even give you the rifle or not. Such a toss-up. What do you guys think is better for a trigger happy person? Because their aiming time is significantly reduced, but so is their accuracy. So fast firing a weapon and make them just pour out bullets. Or a slow firing weapon, um, hoping that the accuracy of the weapon overrides their uh, shitty accuracy. And the remaining time does nothing but improve it. What do you guys reckon? I'll give the survivor rifle a shot because I know the pistol isn't working out very well. I don't know. That's a toss up for me. Uh, as far as wood goes, we're down to 240. There's still a little more we could chop down. I'll let you uh, use a little more of the stone though. Or uh, a little more of the wood that we've got for now though. So otherwise I think you'll interrupt the construction you're doing in order to um, chop down wood. Yeah, this guy's going to run into the same problem. They can be up here and shoot down at it, but we'll be able to uh, snipe them. So no real worries there. And then this turret here, I thought, I thought Tynan had said something about when they go to mine through a wall or when they go to uh, destroy a wall, sap through it and all that jazz. They still try to know where turrets are, and they still try to calculate which area is the safest to go. So I figure if having a turret behind the wall makes them a little little less likely to mine through it and just go around, then cool. But on the other hand, I do have two turrets down here, so it's a toss-up. I don't know. I'm not sure how they'll act. But uh, even if they do do that, it gives us a nice little choke point and one, two turrets and us to fire at, so it might be alright. Same deal up here, we don't really have a spot to sit and shoot them. I mean, I guess that, I suppose. For the time being, I'm just counting my blessings that they don't do pincer maneuvers or anything like that very often. Sometimes they'll like go around a mountain different ways, that sucks when that happens. But thankfully they're like, oh they're attacking from two different directions, and small squad up there, and then small squad on the opposite side. That'd be a dickish invasion, but that should be fairly easy to do. It's just whenever they attack, they just send two small groups. Yeah. I reckon. So, furniture, we'll go for the double beds just so then we have them. Even though they're ridiculously expensive to make. Like that. Go for lights in there too. Look at that. Would you look at that? Then give them some plant pots. A little bit of beauty. Yeah, I'd like to do the wood floor, but Jesus Christ! How about carpeting? How long? Uh, how long does it take to do carpeting? A good while, 1200. Ugh. Okay, and we are working on research now. After cleaning. Hmm. Ugh, I'm gonna regret doing that. Shit's gonna get dirty fast. I hope I get a fifth person soon. There, so you work on the research. Hopefully we can plow that out pretty quickly, because you are burning passion, I believe. Yes, so that'll, that'll get up pretty quickly. Awful steel stool. Blech. Up 
aqua environment, a little bit of pain. Yeah. Not much I can really do for you. You got an oak tree to look at. That's a little bit of beauty, right? Five. Five beauty. Pretty nice. I mean, the dirt's all minus one. <laughs> hmm. All right, then. Oh, well. Worry about that later. So Rogue is doing these. He is the Mr. Construction at eight by quite the long shot. So he's the one building the beds and I'm okay with that. Let's go for work. Rogue, don't do plant cutting as much. You, I will have you do plant cutting as well though. And chop a little bit of the wood that's up here. What, what bits we can. That'll be a somewhat constant supply of wood for Rogue to use. Somewhat. God. Part of me is really wanting to just do a big growing zone down here for more trees, like Zircopia or something. Don't quite have the uh, manpower for that though. But we'll try it. Zircopia. That's the stuff that grows the fastest. Pretty good. Chop what we can down there. I guess chop these down, even though they're kind of useful for beauty, but not well. I like this guy is 44% grown. It's poplar. 44%. 14 wood. Not great. Hey, normal double bed though. Very nice. 0.75 comfort. Not terrific, but certainly a lot better than uh, than these guys. An awful bit. Ugh, 0.3. It hurts to sleep on. Ugh, 0.53 for the shoddy. And I think that's the best we've got a shoddy. Maybe poor is poor. Yeah, poor is a little better than shoddy. 0.64. Mm. And then the plant pots will just act for a little bit of beauty, so it's nice in there. The lights, so they're not in darkness or anything like that. Even though those are bedroom and it shouldn't matter, but maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. There might be a, uh, a thing there to tell them not to care about the darkness if they're uh, sleeping. We'll find out. Okay, cool, you are working on that, because these are on... Yeah, they're, they're in cruise control for a little bit, finishing up. And this, I got rid of. Oak tree, 52% grown. Half an oak tree gets 27 wood. Well, I'm thinking it's going to be about 50 wood per oak tree. Seems about right. Which I can't complain about, because we got a lot of oak trees growing down here. A few more over here that are... Slowly working their way up. Good lot of stuff to chop on this edge here. Uh, stuff grows, I think, from the edge in, which is why last alpha I had that really strange uh, border of forest. It was very odd, but I think that's what was causing that. Makes sense anyway. So we have... Okay, really just one person chopping down the trees, and that's KPO. Because Lidstrom does it uh, overnight. Somebody's got food poisoning. Alright, well, we'll have modern glib anyway. Uh, carpet making would be a fantastic thing. Does take a long time, though, and takes a good amount of um, cloth to do. Unless it's changed. It may have changed. I think we'll go for s machining or brewing. Throw some hops and hit up the brewing. Let's do that. Hit up the brewing. So... We'll do a growing zone. I don't have any more rich soil around here, unfortunately. And I don't really want to shrink any of this. I guess we'll do another set it and forget it zone down here for hops. 
pretty far away is the problem. Otherwise, I cut the uh, potatoes a bit and put hops on the growing zone there, but I'm happy with the amount of potatoes we have now. I've only just expanded it and we're kind of sort of catching up with meat. Well, hunting stopped anyway, but you know what I mean. Poor quality, poor quality. Still pretty good for poor quality, 0.64 comfort. And then I think this defaults to... Yeah, Daylily, 24 beauty. Whereas Roses are only 14. So we'll go for Daylilies there. Temperature. I'm th still thinking we don't really need a heater in there unless we get a cold snap. I should put it along the back wall where I've got the conduits. Let's do that. Back wall where I've got the conduits. There you go, right next to the bed. Ah, oh, yeah, feel that cool air. And we'll see about heaters. Let's take put these in the corners. Yeah, we'll see about that. I need to hold on to my components for the time being. Zone area, no roof region. Those bedrooms. Get rid of all that. And floor, remove the floor. That'll give them a minute to chop down wood and get some of the wood hauled for you. I guess Rogue. Rogue and Lidstrom. I guess. You guys you guys feel like sleeping together. Modern Glib. Capio. Rogan Lidstrom, you two, like, <laughs> somewhat happy with each other. How do you feel about this? Do you shared bedroom minus five, sharing bed minus one? I don't mind too much, actually. How about uh, modern glib and rogue? There we go. Sharing bed zero. Yeah, okay. You don't particularly want to, but you're putting up with it just fine because you two are like best buds ever in the history of time. So you'll get over it, really. I could have Ro just quickly uh, rock on another bed real quick. We don't have to worry about it. But I feel like you're not hauling very much to there. Are you hurt? No. Just not caring very much. Alright. Usually they carry 75 per. 